Hello Zeverherd, welcome to Starlink Battle for Atlas, a brand new Toys to Life game by Ubisoft that is showing a ton of promise to be really, really cool. If you're familiar with things like Skylanders or Lego Dimensions, this is sort of in that park of stuff. You have your characters you can load in the battle, but the twist is with this one, you can load in their ship and play as the ship. It's a guess like a game where you just fly around with spaceships and you blow stuff up. It looks really cool. And with it is on the Nintendo Switch version, the version I'm playing, is the coveted Nintendo character Star Fox and his R-Wing ship. So that's a version I got. I am so excited to check out Star Fox. There's apparently an entire Star Fox story mode or something like that. And that's what we're mostly gonna be checking out in the series. But if we enjoy that, maybe we'll explore more of what Starlink has to offer. It looks like so much fun. So let me know if you're interested in Starlink, if you've got it yourself, if it's something you're willing to watch me play, all that kind of stuff. But for now, let us get started with Starlink Battle for Atlas. Welcome to the Starlink Initiative. I am Sage, and I am here to explain how to use Starlink to build your starship. Oh, okay. To begin, slide your Joy-Con controllers into the Starlink mount. Press until they click and lock in. Gotcha. I'm gonna do that real fast. I actually don't have the right controller set up then. So I do need to set that up in the, okay, here we go. So let's A if I'm ready. I, apparently you can use Pro Controller though. So, okay, so I have the apparatus on. It's very weird, it's like a, a, a control grip, but a little bit different. So next tutorial. Make sure your Joy-Con controllers are paired. Uh, they are, yep. Next, link a pilot. Slide your pilot into the front of the mount and press firmly to connect it. Okay. Got it. There we go, we got Star Fox in there. You cool. You can swap your pilot at any time without losing progress. Oh, interesting. So there's like the silhouette Each of Star Fox. We do get two characters. Okay, so. Next, link a starship for your pilot to fly. Gotcha. Lower the starship down over the mount and pilot so the pilot enters the cockpit. Oh, whoa. I have this Once giant thing linked, on my controller now. I feel like I can poke it. my eye out if I'm not careful. Not really, it's p facing the other way. I'm just being silly. But, um. You can mix and match wings to change the attributes of your starship. Oh, yeah, that's a big Press thing. Press firmly to link them securely. So you can actually take the wings off of it. I know I don't like have a face cam or anything to show this, but I think the little tutorial shows a good amount. I did want to go through this guys with you guys. You know, usually I skip boring tutorials like this, but Link I feel like since so many people don't know how this game works, a lot of people didn't even know there was this part of the game. They Press just thought it was just ships. To fire your left weapon, All right, so we have different little things like right this, weapon. like they're different weapons as you can see there, and I'm putting mine on now. So our R-Wing looks super decked out. Switch I basically did the same way the tutorial does. I get the same stuff it shows there. But you can actually put them on backwards to shoot backwards at an enemy. Lasers from the wings of the R wing if no weapons are linked to them. When you oh, want really? to remove your starship, I'm gonna do that then. twist it and pull it up. Okay. Remember, so. you can change your starship, weapons, and pilot at any time. Use Starlink to adapt to and overcome any challenge. Wow. Now you're ready to begin. Good luck. Okay, so I think we're all ready to begin. I'm super excited. Look at our R wing sitting there. That's super cool. Let's get started. We have, I guess, the option to select to save. We're gonna do new game, and there's different difficulties. So there's easy, normal, hard, and very hard. We're gonna do normal. Normal difficulty offers a balanced playthrough considering both strategy and story. Great for first playthroughs, which is all us. Combat challenge is a medium. Legion spread is normal. I don't know the first thing about playing this game. So it's gonna be a totally new experience for me. I don't know how easy it will be to play with a controller with a giant ship on top of it, but man, oh man, does it look cool. I mean, I'm a decent fan of Star Fox. I'm not the most familiar with his games, but I've always had a good appreciation for the character and for the ships. And I've always had it on my to-do list to check out more of the series. So maybe after this, maybe this will be a good way to get into it. But like I said at the beginning of the video, be sure to let me know if you have this game too, or you plan on getting it. Ensure that the mountain Joy-Con controllers are as close as possible to the dock while updating. Okay, ensure that your mountain is securely connected before updating. Begin update. Oh, I guess I have to download something. Gotcha, okay. Oh, here he is! Star Fox! Oh boy, what's happening? He's just posing. I guess this is like his pose for plugging him in. Wow, he's so detailed. I love it. They did a lot of work on him. They're, this is not a Nintendo game. This is a Ubisoft game. Fox McCloud. 
Oh, wow. Okay, so loadout, R wing, performance class. And then there's options. Okay, we don't have to worry about the options. View our loadout, you can show, see our ships, our wings. We don't have any special weapons on right now, but I might apply those later. Then we have our pilot, Star Fox. We also get this guy. Is his name Starlink? No, I don't think his name's Starlink, that'd be weird. Uh, oh, it's up there, Mason Rana. So we do have that character unlocked. When it comes to these other characters, we need to collect this pilot to recruit them into your crew. Um, so I guess maybe we could buy them just digitally, maybe? I'm gonna check that out real fast. So it looks like there are a number of characters you can buy digitally. From what I saw, you cannot buy the Star Fox character digitally. So for right now, I'm gonna keep with buying them physical because it's also fun, I have a way to show it off too. But it's very cool, very open-minded. They gave that digital option for people who are just not interested in that. Um, but yeah, that's very cool. If you guys wanna see me showcase new characters, maybe we can do that farther down the line. Obviously, we're just focused on Star Fox for now and there are also character skills. I'm sure we'll run more of that as we get into the gameplay, but I can't wait any longer. I'm like 10 minutes into recording this. Let us go ahead and move on if there's a way. Uh, I don't know. Resume, here we go. All right. After making contact with an alien that crashed on Earth, astrophysicist Victor St. Grant secretly recruited a team of pilots to explore the stars. He named the alien Judge and called the team the Starlink Initiative. Huh. Aboard their Nova-powered mothership, the team arrives in the Atlas star system seeking answers about Judge's origins. Whoa, so here we are in the depths of space. Wowee, that's a big ship. Did we get to drive that one? We're here. Atlas. Jewel of the Pleiades. <gasps> Look! Welcome to Atlas. Oh man, I'm gonna get so many hits back on Earth. No, you're not. Levi, no one's supposed to know about this. I'm looking to change that. Chase, Levi, one of you will need to be outside to help Hunter with the escort. Okay. Wait! He said one of us. <laughs> oh, they're racing. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Scans off, St. Grand. It's incredible. I can't believe you've been doing this for a whole year. Our third trip. Hasn't gotten old yet. It was Alkiani last, now Atlas. The artifact we're collecting here might just be the breakthrough we need. We're closer than ever now. I know it. Proximity warning. It's an interesting robot. Whoa. Hey, who is this? I don't know, but she's under pursuit. Looks like our delivery is coming in hot. Right. Let's get our ears on. Can you hear me? What happened? Do you have it? Yeah, but these guys don't like it when you steal from them. Sensitive types. Could use a little help here. Some interesting tech there. She's not gonna make it. Get to the Equinox, we're coming. I'll man the bridge. Judge, take Mason with you to the hangar. We need to buy time for me to jumpstart the engine. Are you sure? Maybe I should help you in the reactor. They've never used Starlink before. Go show them what it can do. Take my ship. You're ready. Ooh, yeah, that's our main character okay. guy. That's the other guy I have. So they both come with the base version of the game. That's all I have so far is the base version. Whoa, these are some cool looking ships. I wanna get these ones too. It's on now, Manu. Whoa, look at this room. <clears throat> Warning, cooling cycle terminated. You think that's bad? Things aren't going so well here. Quite risky stuff. So I, I don't know, with me having the Star Fox character loaded, they might ask me to load another character to get through like tutorial stuff on how to play. 
I mean, I only have the R-Wing when it comes to, like, the vehicles. Oh, here he is! Right? Yeah, look at this, it's the whole crew. You boys seeing this? Yeah, but it's not Wolf, so who cares? It looks like they're outnumbered. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. Absolutely, <sighs> positively not. We came here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to take down. Oh my, we're going in to help. Ugh. I knew I should have retired back on Corn area. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I hope we get to play as them too. I don't know if they're gonna be unlockable at some point. That'd be awesome. Hey, here we are. So Let's we're playing as Fox. And roll, boys. All right, this is awesome. Fox, we're close enough to hail them. I'm patching you through now. Identify yourself. Who are you guys? What's up? We're Star Fox. We thought you could use a hand with these punks. Where did these guys come from? We could use a few extra ships. Team, what do you think? They seem friendly enough. Also looks like we're all headed to the same place. We may not have much of a choice. Okay, looks like we've got a few more wingmates. Hang on, Shade, we're on our way. All right, so it looks like we're just destroying the unknown ships. Right now we have like our left weapon and our right. Database updated. I'm still trying to figure out how to play. I'm not really good at these kind of games. I've never really played one before of these like ship flying games. So we'll try this out. I might be awful. The most similar like, you know, Experience I have with it is some, in some like Ratchet and Clank games you sometimes have like airship fights like this and they're usually pretty basic so I don't know how this will be but it looks like there's also a shield that I can activate for a short amount of time and then also oh some speed Take boosters that. nice uh, oh we did a barrel these Star Fox pilots know what they're doing yeah they're pretty much pros just seen them in the Super Nintendo days kind of fast. not fast enough check this out. Okay, so yeah, let's go. Whoa, this is awesome. What is that planet in the distance? I really don't know if this is open world or not. I know there's plenty of cool planets to explore though. Oh, there he goes, do a barrel. How do I, okay, just by pressing that, gotcha. So I'm, I'm gonna get my shield back up. I have to hold the button for the shield, got you. And that uses up a certain amount of energy. You can see there on the bottom left. Okay, trying to find this guy a little bit. They're zooming in. Destroyed. I can look behind myself, and of course, like I said before, I can put on weapons and put them behind me so that if an enemy is trailing behind me, I can actually still damage them. It's a really cool idea. So there's that done. I think that's all the bad guys. No, wait, we got a couple more coming in. That's a little bad. Okay, so where are they? Come on, turn back around. Got another Legion Drake. These are all level one, so I think we're doing pretty well so far. And I'm sure I'll check out that other character at some point, but I don't really know how the story mode works. I thought there was gonna be a separate Star Fox story hey, mode. nice work, new kid. Thanks. Wow. Well, who is this? I think this is one of the bad guy ships. They're getting out of here. St. Grand, how's it going down there? I'm almost there. Tell them to hang on a few minutes longer. Oh no! That's breach bad. In reactor hull. Everyone, back to the ship. The reactor's been breached. On our way. Just one more left. Whoa. What's he doing with that? Wow. See nice. <sighs> Who are these Take guys? With us. Oh, they look creepy. What in the world is that thing? Were they taking our stuff? No, the ships, they're shut down. What? Oh no, they're no, taking no, no, them. No, 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 no. Oh, they, she's gotta run. No, 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 no. That's not good. When you can do it. Whoa, that was a close one. Razor, what's going on? He's gone. They took St. Grant. What? No. All units, brace yourselves. We're going down. Uh, no. 
Wow. So all the ships got shut down there. So how I think this works is because I think oh. there's multiple. Oh. oh. Equinox pilots, come in. The Equinox has crashed. Huh? All units, report in. Boys, I'm here. I survived. Do you read me? I repeat, the Equinox has crashed. All pilots picked up. Oh no. Nothing's getting through. All this interference. Okay, so what can we do? Can we hop out of our ship or something? Oh no, we can recover. Oh, yeah, the there we go. Are down. Guess I'm on reserve power. Gotta find the boys. Okay, so let's try to find the boys. Man, can we move fast. This is a cool looking planet. But here's the thing. I think that when you have the Nintendo Switch version or maybe at least the Star Fox version, the stories are a bit intertwined. But beyond that, oh, what is this? Seems to be some kind of destroyed vehicle. No, it's actually not destroyed. Seems old, if there's some tires not on it. Gotcha. Just going this way. So all these planets don't seem to be inhabited, or at least this one doesn't. Uh, whoa. Oh, hey! Oh, you want to dance? Enemy analysis complete. Oh, and in. short range weaponry. Recommended weapons, flamethrower, shockwave, or imploder. We do have a flamethrower, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, snap that on right now. There we go. Uh, view the weapon, as you can see. Now, like, I, I do have this physically, but I don't think I can equip it right now. Yeah, okay. Um, I mean, I can't equip it digitally. So if I bought it digitally, I think I could. See, there we go. Wow, that is cool. All right, then. Imps, uh, new discovery. Two out of 20 destroyed? Or maybe two out of 20 discoveries. Oh, Probably two out of 20 discoveries. What's going on out here? Looks Whoa. Like that ship. The Equinox. Oh, what now? Enemy analysis complete. Recommend elemental combination. Okay, so it says the recommended weapons for this one are Frost Barrage, Volcano, and Iron Fist. So on the right side, I'm gonna go ahead and put Frost Barrage. This is a Cyclops, and let's try this out. So these like are sort of auto-seeking missiles. Barrel roll that stuff, or not. I was trying to barrel roll, it didn't really work. Why is it not working right now? Oh, it can go up in the air. There we go. That's what I need to do. So keep shooting this stuff as much as I can. Definitely seems to work, but I wanna use my other stuff as well. Thermal Shock. That's good, I think that means they're frozen. Man, this game's really pretty for being on the Switch, though. I mean, not to say the games are ugly on the Switch, but you know what I mean. Like, when I saw you some footage, I thought it was for, like, you know, PlayStation <laughs> you 4 and stuff. It. You're the last one to report in, but I never doubted you for a second. Peppy, everyone okay? Fox, is it? Well, we were ambushed. Whoever attacked us kidnapped our captain during the battle. We appreciate your help, though. Well, they're not gonna get away with that. Come on. Let's go get them. We can't. Those freaks who took St. Grand also stole our reactor. There's a backup, but until we get more fuel, we're not going anywhere. Hmm, gotta be something we can do here. Maybe there is. I rigged our tech with their ship. Check out your map. Oh yeah, ooh, I do see some things. Rimside fuels, new location 6%. So that's where we are right now. If we wanna take a look at the map, we press ship. the minus button. You should be able to see everything within the scan radius. The rest of the planet's uncharted territory, for now. Razor, I am picking up an alien signal nearby. You think someone's oh. out there? Worth checking out. Feel free to give the map a spin. Not much to it now, but once we explore more of this place, it'll definitely come in handy. Wow, okay, so we can set our destination destination for that, which I think I just did. Uh, oh, there we go. Um, And then we also have the Equinox Core System 0 out of 2, next upgrade, restored spin drive. Uh, you need to complete the story objectives to unlock this upgrade. Gotcha. Um, then we got our collection. Oh, this is like our collection of info. Gotcha, different things we've run into. This game actually seems pretty complicated then. Okay. I mean, I'll do my best. I'm not really good these kind of games, but I'm having fun. We don't know what's out there. Uh, I'll tell you one thing that's out there. A bunch of killer robots. Yeah, we've only been here a week, but we've taken out a lot of them. There's just no reasoning with those things. Bunch of pests, if you ask me. Yeah, well, bring them on. They make good target practice. Oh, Falco's so cool. I really hope. I don't know if that's a current thing. Like, maybe some of you guys will know more about this game than I do, but, oh gosh. Wait, what happened there? I don't know. Uh, But I really, really hope that there is more of the Star Fox crew able to unlock or be able to be unlocked because I would really, really like to play as Falco. I think there's also um, Wolf. I think he's in this game. I don't know in what capacity. 
But those characters are all so cool. So I just like destroying these bad guys. Like, I don't know, like I could just sort of mindlessly do this for a while. I'm not very good at it so far. I'm trying my best, but I'll have to give it a shot as we just go along. That looks like just about everybody around here, right? Or is there more this way? There's all these little dots and stuff on the map. Pick up radium cell. Okay, wait, got it. So it looks like that's what the white dots are on the map. I thought I saw another one this way and I was right. So I'm gonna try to do that as much as I can. But yeah, it seemed like there was a completion rate to the map. 0% um, completed, zero discovered out of 10 things to discover. So I'm gonna try to get that stuff done. I don't think I can or should 100% this planet right in this episode, um, but I will try to you know make some good progress. We got a drill bit. Whoa, whoa, okay. That's what that does. Uh, good to know. So I guess I can pick up things for explosives. But yeah, just really let me know what you wanna see in this game and I'll definitely try to get as much as I can and show it off and have a really good time with it because so far, I really am having a good time. My inventory's full. So what do I gotta do with that? Do I have to bring it back to like the center area? It looks like it. Um, Maybe? Yeah, I don't know what I do with that stuff. Like, let me take a look at my inventory then. I don't see any kind of inventory around here. Uh, Because I couldn't pick up this other thing. Inventory full and then inventory full. I can't attack it. Oh, there's a chest looking thing over this way. Let's try that out. Where is that? Um, it looks like it's on the top of this somehow. Oh, I can get up here, I think. There we go. Hard to do, but that's also not what I'm looking for. Oh, that stuff just explodes. Ooh, it's giving me stuff. Cool. Is this it? This is weird. Okay, there's something I can do with items, but it's not really very clear on what. Because there's also something here, but I think this is just saying this location in general. So I don't know what's up with that chest, but we'll check it out later. I think for right now we should just speed boost our way over this way and try to get more stuff done. If we run into more enemies, like these little imps, I think these were, right? Oh no, those, those weren't enemies, they were plants. Pluck bone fruit. Okay. I guess I have to like, I have to pull this to a certain frequency, and Apparently then I get the bone fruit. Apparently that's called bone fruit. Real appetizing. It's not a plant, but a kind of parasite. Ugh. Okay. So uh, it really does give me like a No Man's Sky kind of vibe. Whoa, look at these guys. Can I, Whoa. unknown, scan them. Nothing like that on Corneria. Your ship's got DNA scanners on it. Try them out on that animal. Maybe we'll get a hit on the database. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Partial scan complete. Scan more specimens to complete the DNA profile. Okay, how about this one? There's a whole herd of them right now. Pretty cool. I know all about that. They're very weird, like chicken kind of giant aliens. Partial there scan we go. Complete. Scan more specimens to complete the DNA profile. Okay, so it's at 67%, so I'm sure if I scan one more, we'll be good. This is so cool, 75, 80%, 90. So I don't actually have to be looking at them when DNA I do this. Profile complete. Wowee. Fauna identified. Fauna? What? I guess it, I thought fauna was plants, maybe I'm wrong. Gritfish, new discovery. So if we were to take a look at our collection, um, or maybe it would be Equinox, star map, maybe it would be collection. Tactical data, legion codex, alien factions, atlas discoveries. Here we go. And I can actually find more in-depth things about these things, like the gritfish, the only creature to survive Kyrite's transformation. This large fish developed bird-like features in order to navigate the dry landscape. Its strong, fast legs once made it an ideal beast for transporting materials and was used by both prospectors and expedition. Wow, is that cool. I really like the idea of doing that kind of stuff. So I am definitely gonna go at it. Now we do have more like of this bone fruit. I don't know if it's really necessary to get, but I'll give it a shot. Can I just like shoot at it? Not really. Okay, so if I really want it, I'll just have to pick it, which it's saying that if I, plus one organic if I get four to five of them. So here's my fifth one. And five out of five. Does that, I can't hold any more of them now. Gotcha. Okay. So I don't know if this is playable with the pro controller or not. It gave me the option to do that, but maybe only if I have the digital version. Sort of weird in that way. Obviously, this is a little bit tough to play on the go with how it currently is. Maybe that'll change over time. It's very weird. I'm definitely figuring things out as I go and it looks like I have a whole lot of figuring things out to go. Whoa, what is that? Yeah, what is that? Uh, 
Hold the talk. Hey, buddy. Life can be tough out here in the field. Why not visit my workshop? I'm sure we can help gear you up. Researcher? Accept. Hey, so I just accepted a side quest. I don't think it's something I need to tackle right now. But that is very cool. Whoa, we got more creatures. From some kind of building. Think they're friendly? I don't know. So right now, it's these are like moose and like giraffes combined. We got more of the, the turkey things. Okay, scan this as well. We're gonna scan as much of these as we possibly can. That would be cool. Come on, come on. And got it, 67%. Let's scan this one. This is one we just scanned before. Maybe not though. And got it. Awesome, so there's another one found. I won't go and read the description of every single That's one of them every Rizzi. time, but maybe at some point. Gotta say I like the name. Apparently yeah. their horns are harder than diamond. Wow. Minecrafters would be really excited about that fact. Uh, <laughs> that was a bad joke, I'm sorry. So this is the one thing the one lady was telling us about. Okay, here's another researcher, researcher Fiardo. This region has some fascinating warden artifacts. With your collection of weapons, you must have no trouble obtaining them. Maybe not. Okay, so yeah, let's take a look right. at this real fast. I see the outpost. All right, so target located. Now what? Can I hold the talk? Oh good. Whoa. You're back. Wait, you're not Thicket. Now, oh, where's my assistant when you need him? The name's Fox. I'm looking for some fuel and figured you might be able to help. Hmm? Oh, sorry. My missing assistant has me all flustered. You haven't seen a squat, leafy fellow wandering around, have you? No, nope. but maybe we can help each other out. Uh, maybe? So I can offer help, or I guess I could do this later. I'm gonna focus on that at some other time, because I do have, you know, what was our main quest already? Like here, hangar, technical data, actually don't know. Might be actually, like this is what we're doing right now, but is this what I was supposed to be doing? I mean, I guess so. Shale Town Observatory, Observatory is scan and map. Uh, scan and map the surface of the planet, helping to track threats and reveal secrets. Okay, so you know what? Maybe we, we are supposed to do that right now. So we'll help him out, and we'll see if, how things go. I sent Thicket to put down a beacon, and he set it right next to an imp hive. Stars wow. knows where he is, but I need that hive removed. Then I can help you with uh, fuel, was it? Yep, all right then, in the thicket, destroy this imp hive for this expedition scientist. Imp hives are where legion imps multiply. Eliminate to the hive to stop them from spreading. 500 experience, 2000, whatever that is, and common ammo as a reward. Sounds amazing to me. Okay, so uh, looks like we gotta move this way for now, 35 meters, and that's what we'll try to get done then. So there is a lot to do on this planet. This might be kind of dangerous, but there's some good eggs here. Huh. Imps, such nasty little machines. Of all the Legion, they irk me the most. I find the best way to handle them is, well, not to handle them at all. But I hear combustion works. Fire, huh? I like how you think. Now that we're equipped with Starlink, we've got lots of options. Try the flamethrower. All right, so we'll give that a shot in just a moment. I already have the flamethrower equipped, so that's perfect. Seems like it is a little bit more viable than uh, just having random Enemy weapons out, complete. or just like a base for the R-Wing. Gotcha, okay, so Pretty it does sure seem a little I'm bit bare bones so with just these. From. This structure must be controlling them somehow. Okay, so let's give it a shot trying to attack them. But it does seem a little yeah, bit bare boned to just have these two weapons. I might have to go get more at some point. Whoa, shake off imp. Okay, so that's something they can do. Gotta keep that in mind. Did I get them all? Probably not. Let me get back over there and attack another part of the hive. Just like that, yeah, okay, that attacks the hive for sure. So while that's happening, I might wanna go ahead and take off the frozen thing then. There we go. Yep, uh, it's gonna be laser cannon. Gotta hit him with the lasers. There we go. Ooh, that definitely hurts. Just trying to do more damage to that. It looks like I took care of all the imps, which is easy enough. Got it, Oh, that's critical. I like it, I'm just gonna keep shooting these two over and over again. It looks like, of course, I, I do have like some overheating that you gotta be worried about. Or at least like some charging going on. Whoa, there we go, awesome, imp hive destroyed. Ah, wonderful, no hive, no imps, just the way I like it. I have some Electrum waiting here Whoa. for you, as promised. Oh, uh, our ship actually takes Nova. Nova? Where did you say you were from? Well, most of us are from a planet called Earth. 
My home planet is Papatoon. <laughs> well, the only way to get Nova here is to salvage the core from an extractor. But, uh, well, it should appear on your map. Huh, an extractor. So it'll probably be the last mission we do for today's episode. Interesting. Wow. Now that we have helped this observatory, our visibility on the planet has increased. Ooh. There's the Legion extractor. Looks like that's our target. Oh, okay, so that robot in the opening cutscene that I thought was a robot, that was Judge. That's why I, it was a little weird how it was just sort of like a couple of sentences before the opening cutscene. It made it hard to tell which character was Judge. But yeah, this is where we're going right now, the 1-3 extractor. Is this thing I have to be between level one and three? These Lectrum Harvesting Towers apply the, the Legion forces, destroy extractors to help liberate the planet. That sounds cool. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and set our destination there. Uh, like this, I think it Lord already does that. Extractors are Legion machines. Before my time, they were easy to salvage, but since the reawakening, they defend themselves most efficiently. But you all seem desperate. They're competent enough. Just bring the core to me and we'll be done. Okay, so we'll give this a shot, and then like I said, I'll probably be where we wrap it up for today's episode. It has been an absolute ton of fun. We already have all the bone fruit we need. I don't know if we can sell this stuff or forage it for like base materials that we can use for crafting. Like, I really have they no idea what ahead. to expect. Ah, oh, yes. The extractor should be just inside. Oh my, this is looking a little scary, actually. You know, there's some enemies to our right. I don't know if I should really Starlink go out of my way. Database updated. Oh, I, I would need the ice for these guys. At least it would make it easier. Might want to do that real fast in a moment. Okay, just trying to be careful in the meantime. We're doing some good critical damage to this guy. Here, go ahead and hit him with the flamethrower again. Because I know I, I probably should just have the ice thing equipped. That way if I run into the imps or the cyclops, I can handle it just fine. Okay, got it. Switch over to this guy. Got it, got it, got it. Come on, keep going. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got 55 experience from that. I don't know where our level up bar is. If it's even on this map right now, hard to tell. But hey, let's go ahead and figure this thing out. This is not looking very friendly. I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, thing on. Oh, I might wait until like battles start here, but there's obviously some Cyclops. Enemy analysis complete. Siege oh, weaponry recommended. no, these are Sage. Okay, Legion Extractor. Okay, I think the Legion Extractor itself is weak to flamethrower. That's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on right now. I put the uh, the Ice Blast on. The Frost Barrage. Whoa. Very cool. Whose idea was this anyway? It's the only idea we got. First, you'll need to target the nodes along the perimeter. Aim for the red power cells. Once those are down, the Extractor's core will be exposed. So it looks like if I hit some opponents with both cold and hot, it'll send them into thermal shock which seems to be pretty advantageous. It might freeze them a little bit. Seeing how they're robots, that does make a bit of sense. So we have to hit the nodes nearby. So I'm gonna try to do that. I don't know what's glowing on that rock. Okay, these red things are probably what he means. So I'm gonna go for this one first. And just attack it. Apparently it's weak to the ice, so this will be good. Oh, it attacks back though. That did some critical damage. It does take a little bit to restore these. Be very cool if we could upgrade these weapons. I would appreciate that. But yeah, I really don't know if I'll have to like have like 70 weapons near me or if there'll be a way to like digitally load them up because it would be a bit of a pain to have to do this every time. Like especially if I wanted to play this game on the go, it would basically be infeasible to have like a whole packet of different uh, things. That's it. The nodes are disabled. Now's your chance to hit the extractor. Okay, need to jump. Those lasers. I'll try. I'm not doing a very good job so far. So we got to hit this thing just dead on. And while it's charging, we'll go ahead and use the flamethrower. I like how the, the, the ice barrage, it will sort of uh, aim for me. It does make things a little bit more helpful. This is definitely taking a bit of work to take down. Oh, and it looks like we got some more enemies going on. So these are the Cyclops again. They're level two, so we are a little bit in over our heads with some stuff here. Okay, there we go. I was just pulling up the shield just in case. Thermal shock, nice. You have to disable them before you can damage the extractor. I know, I know, I was attacking these guys. Got rid of that dude. I think there's another one over this way. So hit him as much as I can. And then boom, hit him with that thermal shock. Got it, he's almost down. Almost down, boom, got him. So we gotta go back over to this thing, I think. The extractor node once more. Got it. This is such a cool game. I'm getting some really strong positive impressions with this so far. Okay, and like I said, I'm, I'm not always super interested in these, you know, spacey, shooty games, but this one really has Garnered my interest in such a good way. Careful. The extractor nodes can defend themselves, so watch I, out. I've noticed. Don't you worry. 
Okay, there we go, almost got it. Mm, nice. So back on focusing to this, I think, yeah. Just have to hit it as much as I can. So if I hit it right in this side, I don't think I was doing that before, so it wasn't doing as much damage. Definitely worth a while now. Running those critical damage. So I think, oh, maybe it's flamethrowers that are good against. I thought it was the other thing. Guess not. Um, okay, so now we got more enemies to deal with. Cyclops are going down, that's for sure. Got them. Enemies are getting easier and easier to take out. Getting lots of experience from them. These, these rocks on the floor have been glowing. I don't know what that's about. Okay, so I, I have two nodes to deal with this time, and then this extractor is just about done. Oh, and they're shooting at me like full time now. Ow, ow, ow. That sort of sent me off in the wrong angle. Yeah, it's definitely the, the, the flamethrower that's getting critical damage, so I got, I got that a little bit confused. So I can just see here with my shield up a little bit, because both of these guys are attacking me. I don't appreciate, it's actually starting to hurt now. I'm probably gonna be bad at this game, so I'm, I'm definitely glad I chose normal mode. Come on, come on, not bad. Got a little bit more to go, though. Come on, keep going, keep going. Ouch, that hurt, that was all my fault, too. Ran right into it. Okay, a little bit more, we can do it. This thing has a lot of health. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I don't think so. I think it's just tough to take down. Those okay. Nodes are no joke. Keep away from their attack. I'm trying to. So it looks like we are starting to heal now, which is good. But man, this game is like fun to get into so far. I mean, it feels like I have so much more to learn. It's probably gonna be a long journey for me to figure everything out because I'm so foreign to a game like this, but I feel like it's gonna be worth my while. There we go, so we got that one. And then moving back this way, we just gotta get to the open space of it, which should be right about here. And then I will try Those to, ow. lasers are quite the menace. Be sure to jump over them if you can. I'm trying. I definitely don't wanna die. Come on, there we go, we got it. Extractor destroyed. Awesome. Very cool. Oh, hey, what is that in the center? Probably it's core. Experience gained. I would hope so. It's down. Sweet, now grab that core and get out of there. Oh, it looks like my stuff got some experience. Extractor. Get a good hold on it and pull back. Just not too hard. Got it. Interstellar. Nova is such a rarity, you could make quite a fortune with your skills. I don't get it. Can't you just make more Nova? If only we could. Sadly, while there is plenty of Electrum to be found, no one knows how to refine it. So the only Nova left is inside those machines. And well, we're not all as brave as you are. Wow. I wonder if St. Grant knows about this. What was that? Our captain, St. Grant. He learned how to create Nova. That's how we got here. Your captain can make Nova? My stars, why didn't you say so? Knowledge of that kind could upset the entire system. And you say he's missing? That's why we're here. I see, fascinating. All right, so I might as well go ahead and pick this other stuff here. This is new to us as well, some kind of a Ethereum nugget, I think it said. There we go. So we'll try to get a couple of these. I don't know if this, like, you know, if we pluck enough of this, our Electrum nugget. I don't know if this will add to any kind of discovery, but yeah, that's why this stuff was glowing, because I could actually go and pick some of it. That's very cool. So I think next episode we'll continue with the main quest, but I'll try to explore the planet a little bit more. I do like how there is a whole bunch of gameplay to sink your teeth into, like a lot to explore, a lot to enjoy, and this is only one planet. This is not a game that takes place on one planet. You are gonna be exploring different planets, going through those. If we take a look at the map again, I mean, we have so much more of this planet left to find, and I'm sure it's full of plenty of awesome stuff. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with that, but this is only the first episode. I hope you're excited. Let me know your thoughts on this game and if, you, if I should play some more. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Starlink Battle for Atlas. If you watched this for the video, make sure you comment star zebra so you've watched the end of the you are a zebra tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and doing the zebra herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.